What's up, YouTube? What up, friends and fam? It's your boy Kenny Lucas back at it with another YouTube video. Um, so this one, sorry, <laughs> I just got distracted. I always see a bunch of cops in my town, and I feel like I just feel them looking at me all the time. Like, what is Kenny up to? But uh, anyways, it's been a long history in my town, fucking growing up here. But anyways, it's funny. But um, so the quickest way to achieve confidence on a whole nother level that see I'm making this video to remind myself to go do it because I've been neglecting to go do it lately and um, whoa I almost just hit a bird wow but uh fuck ADD is kicking in but anyways so it's this to go buy new clothes go buy a new wardrobe go buy a new outfit go Go spend like $300, $400, $500 on some brand new clothes, new outfit, new sneakers, new socks, new underwear, all this stuff, man. New cologne, you know what I'm saying? This, this stuff is like, it's like a secret of the pros, you know what I mean? It's a secret of a boss life, secret of like, you know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta look good and feel good. You gotta feel good to look good, you know what I'm saying? So, um... I just think it's super important to go buy some new clothes, go get the haircut consistently. Um, like ideally, I like to buy new clothes and only wear them a couple times. You know what I'm saying? So it's like my mind is always thinking abundantly like, oh, I got to make more money, more money so I can buy more clothes, more clothes, more clothes. And it might seem like an impossible thing, but um, I tell you what the times in my life where I've had the most money I've ever had is always when I'm spending the most. You know what I'm saying? I'm spending it on fucking Fiji water, on new clothes all the time, on haircuts every week, on cologne all the time. It's like the law of abundance, right? It's like when we show ourselves that we can do that time and time again and we keep making more money, keep making more money, keep feeling better, keep feeling better, that's, that's the state of bliss that I like to live in. You know what I mean? Buy new clothes, impress people. Like, I want to make a first impression on everybody. Like, jeez, that lady just hit me. Almost hit me. <laughs> but, uh, fuck. So, like, I want to make a good first impression on, impression on people. And the cheapest way to do that, or the most effective, fastest way to do that, is with a nice outfit, smelling nice, looking good. You know what I'm saying? Then my confidence is up. And um, I actually learned that because I worked at a, a paving company before. We laid down asphalt. And um, it was like a family paving company. It, there's like a lot of like like gypsy paving companies. And this was kind of one of them where they would go like knock on doors. We would travel like, you know, for a couple months we were in Ohio. Then a couple months we were in North Carolina. And they, they were kind of a little sus about it. I don't know how legal they were. But they would still get work and they still like taught me like, oh, this is possible to go do this. You know what I'm saying? Like they put everybody up in a hotel. Everybody had their own hotel. Everybody had cash every day. So it was a pretty cool eye-opening experience to experience that. Like, oh, if these kids can do it, then I can too. And that's what really motivated me to start my own landscape company because I was like, yeah, I can do that shit. Like it's really not that hard. But I took note of what they did. They always wore new clothes. Like, always. Like, they would be paving in, like, white sneakers type shit. Like, I'd be like, what the fuck are y'all doing? But then it registered to me, like, they're doing this to get their confidence up. And I'm like, that's a swag right there. You know what I mean? To tell me that you're going to work all day paving in white sneakers and white hoodie and fucking just looking fresh. You know what I'm saying? Like... I feel like that's a swag right there. And that's, you know, that's like the law of abundance, man. You're telling yourself like, look, I can make this money 110 times back because I look this way, because I'm dressing this way. And, you know, to a certain extent, I think that's important to have. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like saying go blow your money if you don't have it. But like, it's like that mind, that mindset shift that we're responsible for. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it comes with women, too, you know what I mean? If you're struggling with a woman, like, women like to see a man who's nicely dressed, who has the confidence to do so. Um, 
and then also a woman wants to be provided for too you know what i'm saying like it took me a while to actually realize that that women like to be provided for um i mean i guess i always noticed it but i was always just like a cheap fuck like being like oh no i'm not paying for her shit but really women want to be that you know what i mean like they want a man that buys them shit all the time you know what i'm saying it doesn't even have to be that much it's like buy them food buy them clothes buy them sneakers whatever you know what I mean? If you're dating a girl, that's your responsibility, man. Like, take care of her. Like, imagine that you had a daughter, right? And how would you want her man to treat her? You know what I'm saying? Would you want her man to buy her stuff or, like, just not even buy her anything and, like, go halves on everything and, like, go out to eat and be like, oh, let's split the bill. Nah, man. Like, you want to be the provider. You know what I'm saying? You want to be the provider. So... In order to start practicing that, start practicing getting new clothes all the time, start practicing getting haircuts all the time, start practicing smelling nice all the time, you know what I'm saying? Like, start practicing walking around with your, your chest puffed out and your shoulders back and doing these non-negotiable tasks that are going to make you a better man and make you more confident. Like, I just got done with the morning workout. And I was like, you know what I mean? Like, there was a point where I just wanted to tap out and quit. I was like, fuck, dude, I'm tired, blah, blah, blah. But then I went through it, and then I'm just like, fuck, dude, there's no better feeling than getting an early morning workout in and just being fucking pumped for the day. You know what I'm saying? Like, just like, you're ready. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like working out and everything, but like, working out in the morning, there's like a whole different other realm to it because it's like, I'm doing something that very few other people are doing so that puts me into a category where i already look better i already know i'm feeling better because my heart's pumping my blood's pumping my veins you know what i'm saying my muscles are pumped so it like puts you in a whole different other category and life is a big competition so you're ahead of the competition if you do that so with that guys like comment share and subscribe i love you guys peace